Hey guys, Ella here and welcome back to Zook and Company. In case you are wondering, I am still here. I am still pregnant. I am 37 and a half weeks right now. Um, so basically I am good to go anytime now. I am just waiting on the baby. Um, and some also some change of plans. I am now planning on having a home birth. Um, so I hope to do like a video about like what I have on hand for that. Um, but we will see if I get to that before the baby comes. But for today, um, the video is going to be about um, my series, Chill. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple things that I have from them that I'm planning on making good use for after baby comes. Okay, so I am just going to go over a couple things that I have from them. Um, there's not, it's not really an unboxing video per se, more or less just me just showing you some of the products that I have from them. I heard about them about a year and a half ago and I've been slowly like getting some more of their stuff. Um, I first started out with their main thing, which is their series chill, like chiller. Um, this came very handy, um, at like when I first started going back to work a little bit. Um, in case you don't know, I kind of like fill in every so often. So I'm not like full, full, t I'm not, well, I'm not even part-time. I'm like very rarely part. I fill in when I need it type. Um, but the times I was working, this came in handy. Um, and I will explain to you why. Um, so this is actually a breast milk cooler per se, I guess, if you want to. It's kind of like condensing everything from like, you know, hauling bottles and ice packs and um, your like lunchbox type style to put all your milk in. And it's a little bit more discreet. Most people don't, they just think it's a water bottle, which is great um, considering like I used to be a secretary. Um, and so basically when I do fill in, I fill in when the old secretary needs off and I work, I would work in a field that is predominantly male. There's only like one other girl and that's the other secretary. Um, so this was a lot more non-suspicious, I guess you would say. Not that I'm embarrassed about hauling breast milk. I mean, most of the guys in the office knew what I was doing when I would disappear every few hours. Um, but it's just, it's a little more inconspicuous, I guess. So this basically, this is the main part of this. This um, is made out of like stainless steel. I believe it's double walled. It never like, what's the word I'm looking like? It got like the condensation on the side. That always bothered me about like some water bottles. Um, so basically I'm going to take this apart. So this is like the cap. And then you take this off. That's the lid. And then you pull this out and this is again stainless steel and this is also stainless steel and Emerson has now joined the chat so if you hear sounds or movements it's him and now he's gonna run off with my stuff anyway so this is the like inner chamber I think I convinced him to go watch coconut oil for a little bit so I can finish this up um, but this is the inner chamber you can pump directly into this. Um, I should get like a flange. Um, and, but basically your flanges on your, um, like your breast pump will fit onto this. And so you can pump directly into this chamber or this, like the, 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 the cap and this. So this does screw on here like so, and you can pump directly onto here as well. And you can just connect it just to this. So you can be double pumping, which is very great. Cause that's all I do is I pretty much just double pump anyway. And so then you can double pump and you can store the milk in here and then you would put ice in this, or you can put your breast milk in here and you would put ice in this. Um, I usually put my milk in here and then put ice in this just because I am, I mean, at least with Emerson, I, we will find out with this baby, I was a very significant oversupplier. Um, I'm talking like I would produce somewhere between 80 to 100 ounces a day. Um, so 
it's a whole other story why I produce that much. But this was convenient for that sake. Um, and what I would always do is I put my ice in here. Again, this screws to this like that. Put my little cap on. And then I would put this back in here. I can just screw it on, right? And I never actually did this until, like, well, I will, like, now. Obviously, now that I know better. Um, but basically, you are supposed to um, store this upside down just to make sure all the milk is, like, touching the ice and cooling properly. Um, I didn't do that because it was always touching the ice anyway. Um, but, yeah. And then I it also came with this... Um, it looks kind of strange, but basically you put this on here and it's like a handle for it, which is really nice. And a couple new things I just got, um, partially for this for later, and then partially just to help me if I'm working or just here at home in general. Um, they just came out with, so the point of, let me back up a little bit. The point of this is that you can use it from the time that you are breastfeeding until afterwards um, so just to use it just like a regular water bottle which you can you can just take the inner chamber out um, drink it like a regular water bottle I am not the biggest fan of like chug style caps which is kind of like what this was so I didn't use it as a water bottle um, per se um, but they just came out with this which I was really happy because I was waiting for this is this which this is another attachment for it itself and Emerson is trying to take it away from me so but this will attach to this to make this a water bottle um, comes with this straw that obviously goes in there and then I believe you can use this like a tea infuser you can put some fruit and stuff in here emerson has decided to now join the video so you get emerson so this again will attach to here comes with a straw which i actually find that like this style water bottle i tend to drink more water that way i don't know if it's just a head thing i just always did so I got this. This, like was said, was like just released like two or three weeks ago. Not too long ago. Um, comes in this cute little bag. This, the chiller also came with a bag. I don't think I have it anymore because I didn't really use it. Um, and it came, like this came as a bundle. So it has these little like silicon caps that fit onto this which it also came with an extra um, chiller insert. I'm not, inner chamber, I think is the word I'm looking for. Um, and you can, then you can use this like a sippy cup on the go um, for your little one. And he's chucking my stuff. <laughs> and then the other thing that I did also get was this bag of sorts, I guess if you want to call it. Um, so this is kind of like a travel wash basin. <laughs> um, and it came with a like, washcloth, a scrub brush, which this also unscrews to get like in there to clean. And a little squeeze bottle to put dish soap in. Um, and this, this is like waterproof, so you can actually, can I have a kiss, Emerson, thank you, so you can actually wash in this, which is kind of the point, so you can take this, you know, to work with you, you can wash your bottles and your pump parts and stuff, and yes, I got this for work. But also for home, so I have a designated basin to wash all my pump parts in. Just for, like, sanitary purposes. 
because I actually do end up um, donating milk. I donated about 4,000 ounces the last time. Um, and I hope to do... I hope to donate again. I'm not sure I'm going to be donating quite that much um, because I am going to be feeding some of my breast milk to Emerson as well as the baby. He's very loud, isn't he? So I'm going to put all this stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how much I get through this. And this is the last thing that I have from them. This is their series chill cooler. I should really look up the names of some of these things. Anyway, so this is actually for here around home. Um, and this is for storing milk. Um, it comes with these. These are like rubber bands just to kind of hold everything in place. Though it does click together very nicely. And Emerson wants to play with it. Here, Bubby, can you play with the rubber bands? Can you play with this? Thank you. So this comes off. And then basically what this is, there's two of them, obviously, is I, after, you know, you're done pumping, you can actually freeze your breast milk in here. And I believe each of these little slots are about half an ounce so that um, you can freeze them in here. You can also actually store them in here as well then um, once they're frozen into the little ice cubes. And then you can just pull out what you need at a time. So instead of like having like a whole bag of breast milk, say you only just need, you know, one or two ounces. Um, like I said, again, I believe that each of these little like cubes are about half an ounce. So you can just get as much as you need out without having to use breast milk. So this all clips together like this. These rubber bands go around and Emerson <laughs> is running around with the um, like washable I guess it's like a dry erase marker where I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can like date it and put how many like ounces and stuff is in it. And again, um, their products are made for like during breastfeeding and then afterwards as well. So you can just use this like a regular ice tray. Um, they also recommend it that you could make jello shots and stuff in. I don't drink. Um, so obviously it's not going to get used for that um, afterwards, but planning on having more kids so this will probably get used for a very long time before it's used for anything else um so again that's pretty much all the stuff that i have from series chill here bubbies um again i really like their stuff i hope to get more um over time their stuff is actually pretty affordable um and yeah that's pretty much all i have for today um, again, I hope to do a video about what's in my birth, home birth kit type. Um, but until then, I will see you next time. Sorry for some of the little interruptions. And uh, if you're new, I would like if you would subscribe. If you're not new, thanks for sticking around with me. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.